Uh, Christy Lee at the news desk, Chick McGee across the way at Sports Control. That man over there is uh, one of America's finest comedians. He is Tim Wilson. Tim, how are you, sir? Good morning, Tom. How are you, sir? Good, mm. good. Oh, hello, Tim. I want to know why is everybody in here whispering? Are we whispering? Uh, are we whispering? Everybody's really like, like this. Mm. If, if it sounds like the, the days when my wife wants me to put the radio on that jazz guy. <clears throat> really? Don't you hate him, Chick? The you know jazz him? guy, sure. The jazz guy is sure. just a little cooler than you are. Mm -hmm. You know, Ronnie he knows Barrett. just That's a little that. more about romance and love than That's the your Ronnie Barrett does. guy. Yeah. Oh, I can do that. He's, oh, yeah. Ronnie Barrett. Here we go. Hey, good Tom's morning. sounding like this this morning. Let's good morning. morning. It's four degrees. It's minus four degrees outside. <clears throat> yeah. I woke I think the I think the wake-up call at the hotel froze because they didn't call me until 45 minutes after I was supposed oh, to be here. Right. Now, so, uh, Tim Wilson's our guest, and he is on his way to the new improv in Louisville, Kentucky, and uh, it's uh, coming up this weekend, right? Starting, uh, yes, sir. Uh, starting tonight? It's tonight through oh, cool. Sunday. We have the Heathen Sunday Show. You could okay. be out with your associate pastor, Chick, improving yourself spiritually. That's right. Or you could be sucking down a Budweiser listening to me. <laughs> That's true. Well, you could do both. On Sunday? Sure, you sure. can do church early Catholic. in the morning. And <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, nope, you Heck Catholic? Yeah. Yeah, See, there's Catholic. your problem. Uh -huh. See, I'm, I'm Baptist. No Baptist will ever come close to a beer on a Sunday. Uh huh. Well, that's your problem. Well, but it's yeah. a lot funnier when you can't drink on Sunday. Is it? That, Is it? Well, that's why you get good lines and... I got, like, I got that song, First Baptist Bar and Grill. Okay? Mm -hmm. Well, a Catholic couldn't sing that song. <laughs> Catholics never laugh at that song because they go, what's so funny about alcohol at a church? There's absolutely nothing strange about alcohol at a church. To a Baptist, that's like blasphemy. Yeah, well. ah, I didn't. Now, do you, yeah. do you uh, so that when you do a Sunday show, you don't drink at all? I, you know, I mean, I, I feel bad about cussing on a Sunday show, uh -huh. but I'm trying to raise kids, and I'll do it. That's right. You know? uh -huh. I always hate a heckler on a Sunday show because I'm thinking to myself, okay, I'm going to hell over this show. Right. Well, I'm not going to hell over it, but I'm going to have You're... to answer for this at Judgment Day. Uh-huh. I've been around alcohol and cursing on a Sunday, which everybody knows it used to be Saturday until Constantinople changed it. Right. Anyway, okay. so what the yeah. hell difference is it making? Whatever. <laughs> but that's nice. that's we called, all know uh, that. But anyway, that's, that's what's that called? if you get to Judgment Day, uh -huh. And you think, I got heckled on a Sunday show. <laughs> you know, I don't want to, what I'm saying is I don't want to be judged over a show where I got heckled. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? I'm not getting this across yet. They don't realize Maybe we can you're... call Robert Schimmel and let him try to figure it out. In other words, people don't realize the sacrifice you're making, the, the soul sacrifice you're making yeah, to it's, do the if, show. If I'm going to risk going to hell over a show, I don't want some drunk landscaper from Shepherdsville ruining it for me. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got it. Okay, there you go. There you go. I, I, I know what you're saying. That sells it right there. Okay. Uh, uh, on, on, judgment day, yeah. on Judgment Day, you're lucky you're going to be able to talk to somebody. I'm just going to be zapped. <laughs> <laughs> I did a show one time for the, uh, for the uh, what do they call it? the Bar Association in Georgia. Uh huh. And we were all down in the basement of a Baptist church eating chicken. And then we were going to go upstairs and do the show. Right. And I thought to myself, this is exactly what Judgment Day will be. It'll be me in a basement of a Baptist church eating chicken with a bunch of lawyers. Well, the lawyers will be in a basement on Judgment Day. <laughs> <laughs> a big one. Right. Uh, no. well, yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Or lawyers. maybe God will heckle you on Judgment yeah. Day. Well, I think my brain's still fried up, uh, fried up, yeah. frozen up about minus four degrees because okay. I'm not quite getting this across to y'all. I, I understand what you're saying. We'll, 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 we know what you're saying. You're you going have a good to hell. soul, yeah. and I like that. Do you want to play your first Baptist song for us? Oh well, you know, I'll try. Okay, okay this is uh, now this uh, this so the sales the, the selling point on this then is that uh, Baptists do no drinking on Sunday only. Uh, in theory. In okay. theory. Well, the church burned down and no one knew what Pentecost Baptist was going to do. The brimstone got so that gum hot it burned up a church bus in the parking lot. In a panic, the Reverend Dr. White called up an ex-member that hadn't lived right. He owned Joe's beer joint right across the fence. It's the same Joe's he'd preached against. He said, I don't really want to be a hypocrite. I got a Sunday school class about to have fits. We're all excited about revival week and been moved by the Spirit, so to speak. With all the souls we saved and money we spent, we thought God told us to sell that tent. I got a famous evangelist supposed to come. I've run out of chairs. Will you loan us some? <laughs> Joe said, well, you can just use the whole dang place. Ain't I on a jukebox, Amazing Grace? I ain't supposed to be open because of them blue laws, but we'll open the night if it's all right with you. 
preacher says, well, I reckon it'd be okay. The good Lord works in mysterious ways. He's going to talk about Joshua, Judges, and Ruth, and I reckon I can do it from the DJ booth. <laughs> <laughs> At the First Baptist Bar and Grill, it's the only church in the Bible Belt that smells like a whiskey still. When the sinners finish one more round, we'll have dinner on the ground and go inside and pray we don't get killed. The evangelists came with a well-dressed choir. They showed up around happy hour, looked around the joint, and didn't take it real well, said the white ministry has gone to hell. <laughs> Ms. Mills that taught youth Sunday school and two dickens in the back room shooting pool were sharing the Lord with the Jim Beam rep who was teaching Ms. Mills some line dance steps. <laughs> Reverend White was reading from the book of Luke to a tall drunk trucker about to puke, had John 316 memorized, trying to dry him out to get him baptized. <laughs> the evangelist yelled about the lights and the mirror, said, White, you can't save any soul in here. This place ain't nothing but a den of sin. Ain't the kind of place Baptist ought to be in. Preacher says, well, we don't really need y'all here. You didn't do a very good job last year. You only saved one sinner. That's Todd McGuire. He's a little son of a bitch. Set my church on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's beer joint has done been revived. Only been here an hour and it done saved five. Sure, it's got mirrors and a big dance floor, but I finally found the flock God called me for. <laughs> They're at the First Baptist Bar and Grill. It's the only church in the Bible Belt that smells like a whiskey still. I'm trying to think, make sure I don't cuss in here, because usually in the Please show don't. I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know the lyrics. And wine in here is always chill. Oh, yeah. And we're here every Sunday. We're living large. We're the only church with a cover charge. <laughs> and if you don't like our doctrine and think we ain't devout, we'll have our bouncer throw your ass out. Of the First Baptist Bar and Grill. Oh, yeah. Usually we have that, the lady at the studio, is it Duran? Yeah. Who does uh, that big can, Oh, yeah. Oh. She's good. Thank oh, you very much. Tim Wilson. Little Timmy Wilson.